is not taking COVID seriously breakup worthy? I have looked through this sub multiple times, but it is my first time posting. I also made a throwaway account for personal reasons. On to the story. I'm a 30F and my boyfriend is a 35M. We live together and have been together for about 3 years. I have some underlying health conditions that make me more at risk for getting COVID. My boyfriend continues to go out and do things at gaming stores and hangs out with his friends all the time. I have already told him several times that I'm at a higher risk to get COVID and he still goes out and does things. I also know that the gaming store he goes to doesn't enforce the mask policy that is in place in the state we live in. My boyfriend found out yesterday that his dad got COVID and it is going towards being the pneumonia side of COVID. He still left the house to go hang out with friends and doesn't seem to take any of this seriously. I just feel like he is only thinking about himself and doesn't care about me or my health. I just want to know if this is something worth ending the relationship over. Short answer, yes. Long answer, yes. It is a very serious issue in and of itself but I think the most important thing to remember is what this reveals about your boyfriend's character. He has prioritized ridiculously silly outings over your well-being and over the well-being of the entire community. Even when his own father became seriously ill, he continues to behave like a morally bankrupt toddler. Is that the sort of person you want to spend your life with? forget about covid for a second and rephrase it my boyfriend constantly puts my health and welfare at risk should i stay with him personally i am glad people have been showing their true colors during this pandemic i have cleaned out a lot of my friends for doing the same exact thing because they're proving they care more about themselves and always have I would recommend that you have a talk with him and see if his actions improve. But to me personally, it would be a deal breaker if I learned how selfish my SO was being. I hope this helps, and good luck. I work in healthcare and spent long hours doing COVID swabbing and just dealing with all the crazy shit that came with all the restrictions. For months I walked into work not knowing what the day would bring and was stressed to the max. I live in boyfriend at the time believed in all the conspiracy theories. He said restrictions and mask wearing took away his freedoms and that anyone that followed the rules were sheep. He picked fights with security guards at grocery stores. It was exhausting coming home after a long day at work and having to listen to his ranting and raving. We had other issues of course but his views on COVID just added to an already stressful and broken relationship. I just saw him as a very selfish person throughout COVID, it disgusted me. I wouldn't be surprised if I saw him on the news marching in an anti-mask protest. Any reason is legit to end a relationship. I'm tired of being a weekend GF. My, 21F, boyfriend, 21 meters, and I get along really well, we debate but don't fight. We've been together just a few months but it's going pretty well in most aspects. Yet, I don't think I want to be in a relationship with him. I only really get to see him on the weekends, and it's usually less than a 24 hour span. Like a short sleepover and that's it. He's really busy which I admire because he's following his dreams but I'm having a hard time just being his weekend G. F. He rarely has time during the week to text or call. I just don't want to hurt him over nothing really. Our relationship isn't bad. It doesn't feel like I have a purpose in ending it. Update, I talked to him and he was really sweet and nice about it. He agreed it wasn't fair to me and I deserved more time. Unfortunately he just has such a packed schedule with school and work that he can't provide that. We're hanging out tomorrow to discuss our final solution, but no matter what we're staying friends, there's no hard feelings on either side. The best thing you can do here is tell him how you feel and if there's nothing he can compromise on, break it off ASAP, like hard. You both probably just have different goals but I'm not sure how fixable incompatible lives are. If he's unwilling to try then the best thing for you both is to just break it off as soon as possible. 
I would open up to him about it and see if he is willing to change things up maybe he didn't realize that this is something you wanted. Some people don't like talking on the phone and would rather just hang out in person. We always make time for the things we care about and I think that if he can't make time to talk or text for even a few minutes a day after you talk to him, he doesn't consider you a priority and you should move on. It sounds like he is scheduling you in at weekends and not making you a priority. I'd communicate your needs, i.e. you'd like to spend more time or communicate through the week. No one is too busy to call or text for someone they see as a priority. You have to think if this is making you happy and if not communicate your needs and if they are not met with action reconsider. This is advice I wish I got years ago as I was in a long term relationship like this for years and it went nowhere and I felt like the loneliest person in the world in the end. Good luck just be strong and think of your needs first and in relationships if your partner does not give you more than the minimum and it bothers you do what's best for you. Thank you for this. We're celebrating my birthday this weekend but I think I'll talk to him afterwards. I want us to be on the same page and if that means taking a break or breaking up, I'd rather do it sooner. You never really specify what he's doing during the week but I'm gonna imagine long hours of either work or education. So presumably he has very little time except the weekend so most of his free time is with you. However it's a bit weird that never during the week do you hang out and that he doesn't even text or call. Presumably every day he has dinner. If he has time for dinner after work he has time to text or call. And while it's fine if he doesn't want to do lots of texts or daily calls him rarely texting during the week suggests his priorities slash what he wants to do. But different people have different love languages or whatever so it's not necessarily prudent to look into the too much bit what is important is how it makes you feel and how it makes him feel and what solution might make both you feel better and closer. My advice would be to have a calm discussion with him about how you feel about this. This issue reminds me in some ways of various somewhat reoccurring issues me and my ex had before we had a few calm discussions and compromises about them to resolve the issue for the most part and relationship got stronger because of it. Communication is the most important thing in a relationship, you should try and tell him how it makes you feel in a non-accusatory way and work from there. Look, you don't need a perfect reason to end something. It's been a few months. If you're not feeling it, then you're not feeling it. I've found that when you really click with a guy and he really clicks with you, then there's so much less anxiety over stuff like this. You don't have to worry about how much he sees you because he makes it happen to see you or be in contact with you. So, definitely give extra communication a shot if you want to. But don't feel bad about stepping back if it seems you're both enjoying this, but not enjoying it enough. My daughter wants to know her mother I'd what to do. So this keeps getting brought up anytime I am 36 get into an argument with my ex-wife F37 or her family. Background, my ex-wife left shortly after the birth of our second child, F5 and F16. She only came back when my oldest was 14. She said she wanted a relationship with the kids and that she just wants to see them. So we went to court and she got visitation. So fast forward to last Mother's Day, my oldest daughter didn't get her mother anything for Mother's Day, and instead got me a card saying that I was more of a mother to her. I admit this made tear up. My youngest saw this and decided that she didn't want to get her mom anything either. So when my ex comes to see the kids on Mother's Day she apparently expected some kind of present or celebration. Instead she just got a happy Mother's Day from my youngest. She then saw the card my oldest gave me sitting on the table. She thought it was for her. She then read it and got furious when she saw that my oldest gave me a card and not her. She started spewing a bunch of BS about how I was brainwashing them and that they need to get away from me and even trying to take them with her. Took that pretty badly and kicked her out then and there. I went to court and now she doesn't get any visitation as my oldest decided that she didn't want to see her mother anymore. So fast forward to today, my youngest has started asking about her mom. I have no clue what to say, as I don't want to make her hate her mom as she might want to pursue a relationship with her. Any advice?
just because the oldest doesn't want the relationship doesn't mean that the youngest doesn't want slash need it. Maybe still let the youngest see her on a trial basis. This is kind of tricky bc the mother might try to do some dumb slash toxic stuff with the youngest by putting things in her head and what not. Tread carefully up and I wish you the best. No. He should definitely follow the court order. BC if the mother has already attempted to take them once, she will try again and with the possibility of actually getting away. He needs to put her in therapy and possibly family therapy. They need to grow and move forward together. I think it's fair for her to meet her but only with you present and if things start getting nasty or awkward, you stop the meeting. But you should tell your ex-wife before giving your kid any hope and see if she also wants to see her and let her know that you won't take any of her toxic behavior. Wow props to you. You sound like an amazing parent. I know you have your daughter's best interests and that makes you a good man, but you don't have to shoulder the burden alone. Just as much as you are your daughter's support system, they are yours too. So it is okay to involve discussion with the oldest daughter about letting youngest see mom. If youngest daughter wants to see mom, then you need oldest to grant visitation. It is a shame that your wife didn't pan out a proper mother, but I do think it would be good to let the daughter judge with her own two eyes. Just be you because at the end of the day you proved your character and integrity to your daughters. No matter what ex-wife does, she cannot destroy the real you. Therapy, therapy, therapy. For all kids and for you. Dealing with abandonment is something hardest anyone has to go through in life and your kids urgently need professional support from a children's slash family therapist to help them cope with this. You'll get better advice from their therapists on how to approach talking to them about their mom. Cannot imagine how hard it must have been for you to deal with all that in the past and now. So I urge you to seek individual therapy for yourself to help you process all this and stabilize. You need and deserve professional support. Been there, done that. It was a huge mistake to let my daughter see her mom after zero contact for 11 years. Mom overwhelmed her with gifts, shopping spree, girly stuff and then disappeared again hopefully forever. I was left to pick up the pieces and try to explain why her mother abandoned her once again. Having that conversation at age 5 is tough enough much less at 13. It emotionally devastated a happy healthy kid that always seemed to see the good in people. Now she is suspicious of people with some serious trust issues. Do what you think is best for the kid without taking anyone else's feelings into consideration. It's the kid that will suffer. Good luck.